Um, tell me a bit about the family though, because you were saying about the family, because he mentioned something before, how interesting it was about there's this idea of it just being an Italian cruise line. Yeah. But actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that. It is a bit more complicated, and I think um, complicated in a very positive way. Mm. It's, uh, so the gentleman who is uh, Italian, his wife is Swiss. Uh, so we are a sort of Swiss Italian company. We're headquartered in Geneva in Switzerland. And I think that um, adds in some of those things you expect from a, a Swiss organisation around efficiency and um, stability and, and security. So you know, when people think of the Swiss, they often think of watches, they think of the Swiss um, rail service and how things run, run like clockwork, I think is a, you know, the, the phrase that's used. And I suppose that does influence how we operate as a company, having that sort of Swiss uh, background and that Swiss headquartering as well. What's your favourite thing about the um, your favourite part of the, of the the MSC cruise experience? If you were to pick one thing personally, if I was to pick one thing personally, um, one of the things I really liked on uh, on MSC Splendida, which is the the, one, the ship I've been on a couple of times now, uh, and is on some of our other ships, is the adults only area uh, on the top deck. So where you can go and you can hire a cabana or hire a, a, a big sort of lounger and hire it by the day or for the whole week and you get that space child free. Um, and I'd, I'd put my children into a children's club, I think, and say, I'll see you at the end of the day and go and spend some time up there and relax. So that's one of the things I, I, I loved. Um, I haven't been on, on uh, Preziosa, but we have the longest water slide at, at sea on MSC Preziosa, so I'm very keen to go and sample that at some point because that yeah. sounds quite exciting um, and I think the kids would love that as well. And I suppose the, the ambience of the baths is really nice, it, partly the, just the international flavour uh, of the baths, but also it, they feel relaxed and welcoming. It's not formal, it's not stuffy. I think MSC Cruise is very much, it's a holiday um, and we, we treat it as a holiday uh, as opposed to maybe the formality of cruising that you might, um, people might be worried about and you may get elsewhere. You won know MSC win a lot of awards, not only for being very e ecologically aware, you know, the, the, the Venice Blue Flag Award and, and many other you know, awards in the sense of how, you know, how kind your ships are to the environment, but also you win a lot of accolades over the, the architecture, over the ships themselves, because mm. they are unique ships. You know, they're, they're, and they're beautifully built, and you have things like these wonderful Swarovski crystal staircases, yeah. and and walnut and marble being used, and really expensive materials. Mm. So what's interesting is um, when I first went on to MSC ship the the um, MSC Splendida, and I saw Swarovski crystal um, staircase in in the uh, main atrium, uh, and I was that is amazing, all the way up, all lit up, um, up three decks. And then if you go into the Yacht Club, um, there's a gold Swarovski staircase all lit up as well in the atrium of the Yacht Club. But all the furnishings are chosen by um, Mrs. Aponte. So the owner, the, the owner and his wife, she chooses all oh, the furnishings. Oversees it all. She oversees all, all of it to make sure we've got the right sort of wood, we've got the right sort of um, cushion coverings. So there is a real focus on design as, as part of the design of the ship and, and making sure we have that. I suppose that's where some of the Italian flair comes into the into the design of the ships. So they're beautifully beautifully laid out. Okay, now there was this this tag word that I know that you know uh, MSC Cruises mm. like to use, where no one no one does the med better yeah. than MSC Cruises. Why why is the Mediterranean so important to you? I think it's one of our um, unique features in the sense we come from the Mediterranean. Uh, we have a Mediterranean heritage, and nobody knows the Mediterranean like us. So. Uh, we go. We carry the most Brits to the Med on fly cruises. Uh, we're the biggest Mediterranean cruise company in terms of number of passengers travelling in the Med on a cruise line. Right. So our focus is very much the Med is our home. We know it better than anybody else. And even when we're not cruising in the Med, we make sure we have the ambience of being in the Mediterranean on board. So the, the food, uh, the way people are treated, uh, the focus on family, um, the uh, attitude and approach um, is very much a Mediterranean feel. So we try and take that around the world wherever we are. Now you mentioned before the MSC Yacht Club. Tell us a bit about it because it's very exciting. So the Yacht Club is a dedicated area of the ship. Uh, we have it on our four Fantasia class ships. So on, on Fantasia, on Preziosa, on Divina and Splendida. 
Um, there are 70 cabins, uh, including family cabins, so people can travel in the yacht club with families, and that, I think that's quite important. Um, they're all balcony uh, cabins. Um, they're, they're not huge suites because our view is when people are on the ship, they're not going to spend huge amounts of time in their cabin, but they're big, comfortable balcony cabins, and there are some bigger suites there. Uh, they have a dedicated butler. Uh, it's an all-inclusive product, so within the cabin, in the mini bar, all the drinks are included. There's a dedicated lounge, isn't there? There's it? a dedicated lounge, yeah, so there's a top sail lounge, it's mm. called, um, which there is a small buffet constantly 24 hours a day uh, and waiter serving drinks. It's right at the front of the ship, so it's got amazing views when you're travelling or when you're coming into port. Um, and it's, it's a very nice, tranquil environment. Uh, so a great place for a pre-dinner drink or an after-dinner drink or just during the day if you want some inside time and just some chilled out time, uh, a lovely environment um, and a high ratio of staff to, to guests. Each of, the, um, each of the cabins comes with a butler and the butler is there sort of 24 hours a day to service whatever need people may have so the butler will unpack if people want, want them to or, or pack for them, will book them excursions, will book them whatever they, they need during their cruise and just make sure that their, their holiday is the best it could be. There's a dedicated 24 hour concierge once again to help with any aspects of the holiday that people may want. They may want a, a car booking as they, when they get into a port, they want, may want to check that their flight's on time. So the concierge can do all of that. There is a dedicated restaurant for the Yacht Club um, where it is a la carte menu, uh, dine at any time you like. And there is a private part of the deck which has a swimming pool and a couple of jacuzzis and a bar. Huge amounts of space, once again at the front of the ship. Um, so all of that is contained within a private area with a, a private lift which only if you've got the Yacht Club um, cabin key only you can get there. Um, the restaurant uh, is at the other end of the ship, which is actually quite nice because it's like going for an evening walk before you go to your favourite restaurant. So it, it is a great experience and it really is a ship within the ship. And I think there are small upmarket ships where you can get that sort of experience. What you can't get with the small upmarket ships is then the benefit of a massive ship with a huge lounge uh, where, where there'll be entertainment and bands, yes, where there'll be massive shows. shows in the theatre, mm. um, where you'll get lively bars and different types of bars. So it's, it is a, a very exclusive environment within a wider uh, ship. And so it gives you the benefits of both, both really. Yeah, I, I've heard such great reviews, particularly about the, the restaurant as well. I believe something like 14 different um, areas of the Mediterranean are represented in the cuisine that you can have in the restaurants. Yeah. Um, and just some incredible reviews from people that are you know, enjoying, enjoying that experience. You can have your shoes polished if you want to. Have your yeah, shoes, shoes polished, polished just yeah. leave them out to be polished. And that's, that's one of the other things, actually. You've got private access into the spa, spa. and gym area. Um, so you've got your own, once again, private lift that takes you into the spa and the gym. So you've got access there. Well, as I well. want to come back to that because that's interesting. And um, the other thing that I, I saw as well is that you can, you can shop out of hours. Like they'll, they'll bring. Uh, you, you do know, private the shopping, shop. either go yeah. down to the shop yourself and, and have private shopping time arranged, or they'll bring things from the shop to you so you can look and decide what you and want. And spa treatments in your cabin as well? Is you it, can have spa was, treatments in yeah. your cabin. You get priority access to, to booking um, spa treatments as well.